The Chinese aircraft carrier program is the development, production and operation of aircraft carriers by China, primarily driven by the People's Liberation Army Navy plan. As of 2018, the plan has a single combat-ready aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, with a second and third under construction. It is projected that China may possess five or six aircraft carriers by the 2030s. Since the 1970s, the plan has expressed interest in operating an aircraft carrier as part of its Blue Water aspirations. In 2011, People's Liberation Army Chief of the General Staff Chen Bingda confirmed that China was constructing at least one aircraft carrier. In September 2012, China's first aircraft carrier, Liaoning, was commissioned. Four years later, in November 2016, it was reported that Liaoning was combat ready. China has confirmed that it is constructing a second carrier that will be built entirely with indigenous Chinese designs. Similar to Liaoning, China's second carrier will also use a ski jump for takeoff. Since 1985, China has acquired four retired aircraft carriers for study the Australian HMAS Melbourne and the ex Soviet carriers Minsk, Kiev, and Varyag. Reports stated that up to two 60,000-ton Type 001A aircraft carriers based on Varyag were due to be started by 2015. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Acquisition of retired aircraft carriers. Chinese shipyards have gained some exposure to carrier design with the acquisition of retired hulls such as the Australian HMAS Melbourne acquired in 1985. The carrier was not dismantled for many years and according to some reports she was not completely broken up until 2002 through various ventures China has also purchased the ex-Soviet carriers Minsk and Kiev These carriers have become floating amusement parks for tourists there had been other plans to purchase foreign second-hand carriers in the past. For example, a possible deal between China and France for the sale of the Clemenceau fell through in 1997. XHMAS Melbourne Chinese reverse engineered a land based replica of the steam catapult and landing system from that of HMAS Melbourne, and a J 8 IIG was used to conduct takeoff and landing trials on the land based flight deck in April 1987, which was not finally confirmed officially until 27 years later in April 2014 by CCTV 13. Both the takeoff and landing were conducted on the same day, and the test pilot was PLANAF pilot Li Guoqiang. Li Guoqiang. The experience gained was applied to the Shenyang J-15. Topic X Kiev. Several days after X Varyag went on its first sea trial in August 2011, X Kiev welcomed guests in its new role as a luxury hotel with a £9.6 million, .6 million refit. The owners believe that China's naval ambitions as well as a general curiosity about aircraft carriers will result in public interest. Topic Liaoning Type 001 
The 67,500-ton ex-Soviet aircraft carrier Varyag Kuznetsov class, which was only 70% completed and floating in Ukraine, was purchased through a private Macau tourist venture in 1998. Following her troublesome tow to Dalian shipyard, the carrier underwent a long refit. Varyag had been stripped of any military equipment as well as her propulsion systems prior to being put up for sale. In 2007 there were news reports that she was being fitted out to enter service. On the 10th of August 2011, it was announced that the refurbishment of Varyag was complete and that it was undergoing sea trials. On 14 December 2011, Digital Globe, an American satellite imaging company, announced that while scouring through pictures taken December 8, they had discovered the retrofitted Varyag undergoing trials. Digital Globe further stated that their images captured the ship in the Yellow Sea where it operated for five days. In September 2012, it was announced that this carrier would be named Liaoning, after Liaoning Province of China. On 23 September 2012, Liaoning was handed over to the People's Liberation Army Navy, but was not yet in active service. In November 2012, the first landing was successfully conducted on Liaoning with Shenyang J 15. Acquisition of designs In addition to the acquisition of retired aircraft carriers of foreign navies, the plan has been actively purchasing foreign aircraft carrier designs as well. One such example was its effort to purchase the blueprints for proposed conventional takeoff landing ships from Empresa National Bazar of Spain. The 23,000 ton SAC 200 and the 25,000 ton SAC 220 designs. Negotiations started between 1995 1996 but did not result in any purchase. However, the Spanish firm was paid several million US dollars in consulting fees, indicating the probable transfer of some design concepts. Topic: <laughs> Early plans. The first official plan of plan aircraft carrier development dated back on March 31, 1987 when the Commission of Science, Technology and Industry for National Defense approved the plan on the aircraft carrier and the next generation nuclear submarine for plan advocated and submitted by the then Commander-in-Chief of Plan, Lu Huaqing. The original plan was to be progressed in stages, with basic research to be completed by the end of the seventh five-year plan, and development of the platform and aircraft to be completed by the end of the eighth five-year plan. By 2000, construction was to begin when ordered, to prepare the commanders needed for the future aircraft carriers. The Central Military Commission approved the program of training jet fighter pilots to be future captains in May 1987, and the Guangzhou Naval Academy Chinese, Guangzhou Jianting Shui Yuan Pinyin, Guangzhou Jianting Shui Yuan was selected as the site, however, Lu Huaqing's plan proved to be too ambitious as the domestic Chinese industry at the time could not meet the goal demanded by the plan. As a result, the plan was drastically scaled back to basic research level and the date for an aircraft carrier entering planned service was postponed and eventually put on hold. 
In the meantime, pilot candidates for warship captain training was also altered, with candidates switched to ship-borne helicopter pilots, because it was considered that naval helicopter pilots with much more ship-borne aviation experience would be better prepared than the land-based jet fighter pilots who lack ship-borne aviation experience. topic current status In mid-2007, Chinese domestic sources revealed that China had purchased a total of four sets of aircraft carrier landing systems from Russia and this was confirmed by Russian manufacturers. However, experts disagreed on the usage of these systems, while some have claimed that it is a clear evidence of the construction of an aircraft carrier, others claim these systems are used to train pilots for a future ship. In August, 2008, Mr. Huang Qiang, Huang Qiang the Speaker of the Commission of Science, Technology and Industry for National Defense announced to the public at a news conference that China had mastered all of the technologies for an aircraft carrier, and would build aircraft carriers in the future when the time was deemed right. According to the Nippon News Network, NNN, research and development development on the planned carriers is being carried out at a military research facility in Wuhan. NNN states that the actual carriers will be constructed at Jiangnan Shipyard in Shanghai. Kanwa Intelligence Review reports that the second carrier to be constructed will likely be assigned to Qingdao, according to a February 2011 report in the Daily Telegraph. The Chinese military has constructed a concrete aircraft carrier flight deck to use for training carrier pilots and carrier operations personnel. The deck was constructed on top of a government building near Wuhan, Wuhan Technical College of Communication campus next to Huangjiahu. On the 7th of June 2011, People's Liberation Army Chief of the General Staff Chen Bingda confirmed that China was constructing its own aircraft carrier. He stated he would provide no further details until it was complete. On the 30th of July 2011, a senior researcher of the Academy of Military Sciences said China needed at least 3 aircraft carriers. If we consider our neighbors, India will have 3 aircraft carriers by 2014 and Japan will have 3 carriers by 2014. So I think the number for China should not be less than 3 so we can defend our rights and our maritime interests effectively. General Luo Yuan in July 2011, a Chinese official announced that two aircraft carriers were being built at the Jiangnan shipyard in Shanghai. On 21 May 2012, Taiwan's intelligence chief Tsai Teh Sheng told the legislative Yuan that the PLA Navy plans to build two carriers, scheduled to start construction in 2013 and 2015 and launch in 2020 and 2022 respectively. On 24 April 2013, Chinese Rear Admiral Song Zhu confirmed that China will build more carriers and these will be larger and will carry more fighter planes than Liaoning. <laughs> Type 001A In December 2013, China's Central Military Commission told Duowei News it planned to commission two Liaoning pattern aircraft carriers by 2020, designated as Type 001 and Type 001A. Contracts have been awarded to China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation to build the two carriers. 
The cost is projected to be $9 billion. A waste catapult could be fitted to one or both vessels to facilitate airborne early warning aircraft operation and air control. Presently Liaoning combines unassisted ski-jump launched aircraft with helicopters for anti-submarine and air defense operations. Construction began in 2013 and the ship was launched in April 2017. On the 31st of December 2015, a spokesman of the Chinese Ministry of Defense confirmed that China is designing and building its second aircraft carrier. The 001A is a conventionally powered ski jump carrier with a displacement of around 70,000 tons. It is likely to be powered by oil-fired boilers and steam turbines, though previously there has been speculation that it could be gas turbine propelled. There are some evident differences from the Soviet-built Liaoning. China's first homemade aircraft carrier, Type 001A, left her home port of Dalian for her third sea trial on October 28, 2018. Type 002 The third aircraft carrier, known as Type 002, is to be an entirely different design than Types 001 and Type 001A it will have a displacement of around 85,000 tons. In 2015, media reports stated that both an EMALS and a steam powered catapult were constructed at the Huangdichu Naval Base for testing. This is thought to indicate that the Type 002 class, as well as future planned carriers, could possibly be CATOBAR carriers. The construction of the first Type 002 class aircraft carrier started in February 2017. Type 003 The Type 003 is planned to be larger than the Type 002, and also feature nuclear propulsion, which could power weapons like lasers and railguns. It is believed that there are two ships of the class are being built in Dalian Shipyard and Jiangnan Shipyard simultaneously, and that construction started in December 2017. Topic: Development of carrier-based aircraft. China initially intended to acquire Russian Sukhoi Su-33 carrier-based aircraft to be operated from its aircraft carriers. However, China later developed the Shenyang J-15 as a derivative of the Su-33, featuring Chinese technology and avionics from the J-11B program. On the 25th of November 2012, it was announced that at least two Shenyang J-15s had successfully landed on Liaoning. The pilot credited with having achieved the first landing was Dai Ming Meng. Dai Ming Ji Meng. According to Chinese media reports, the J-15 cannot take off from Liaoning with a full weapons and fuel load exceeding 12 tons, being unable to get off the carrier's ski jump ramp. The Shenyang J-31 is a fifth-generation fighter aircraft being developed by China that may in future be adopted for carrier use. There are unconfirmed reports of a J-15A catapult-compatible fighter being tested on an electromagnetic catapult. 
This is thought to likely have occurred at the Huangdichun facility. The South China Morning Post reported on July 6, 2018, that China is developing a variant of the FC 31 as an alternate carrier operational jet. Topic: List of carriers. Topic: See also. Soviet aircraft carrier Ulyanovske. List of aircraft carriers in service. DF-21D, Chinese anti-ship ballistic missile